Hey guys, so it's time to do a comparison here between the HTC U11 and the Galaxy S8. So we're going to start off at the same time and have a look at the performance here. This is a Exynos uh, Galaxy S8 uh, versus a Snapdragon HTC U11 with 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, so very interesting the way they look uh, quite similar this year in terms of the build but with, with the S8 you do get a uh, curved display obviously which looks very futuristic uh, the HEC does feel good in the hand though you know it's uh, not bad at all in terms of the uh, ergonomics I do notice the display on the S8 is a lot brighter here. I think we have them on the Max, as you can see. Uh, so it would be nice if HTC did switch to AMOLED in future. But uh, nevertheless, let's have a look at the performance because this is where HTC usually has the advantage over Samsung. Uh, so we have closed everything down, as you can see. And let's go. And we're just going to run through these nice and fast so you can see uh, the performance here. So, so far, it looks like every single one of them has opened up faster on the HTC, uh, which is what I would expect. You know, I think uh, while TouchWiz looks nice, it doesn't uh, seem to be quite as snappy as what you're getting with your Sense uh, UI here. Uh, what else do we have? Camera. Let's try that. Yeah, so you can definitely see here the U11 leaves the S8 standing when it comes to the basic apps. Does it do the same with the games? Oh no, so you can see the S8 actually loads the game a little bit faster here. Let's try GTA. Going into it a little bit snappier on the left. HTC this time. Oh no, so quite identical for that one, not a huge difference. So we're going to open up five games this time. Uh, I think that went to the HTC then. Angry Grand Run. That sounds pretty awesome. No sale. Tap to play. Wow. That looks pretty awesome. And Asphalt. So a little bit closer I think this time for the games uh, but you could see in terms of the the uh, basic apps it was quite similar uh, so I'll probably do another video checking out the gaming between the two let's just have a look at the Wi-Fi performance here between the two of them Head to head. Start with the SA, separate them a little bit. Uh, so, other things to consider here is that you get some sort of use Sonic. Uh, headphone optimization with the HEC U11 very good for audio feels uh, and I think also someone did say it does actually have boom sound speakers but they're just not quite as apparent as uh, with the metal phones of the past but you can see in terms of the Wi-Fi very comparable here the U11 did just pip it but significantly better for the upload uh, so props to HTC here for winning and the ping. 
a little bit of web browsing as well so let's just go to Google starting off I have cleared the the cache on them so I'm not sure why it was loading that page but just go to BBC here go oh, whoops click the wrong thing then let's just click on this one so I think that was the uh, HTC then and again uh, Verge old Verge go and again HTC here uh, so you can see in terms of the day-to-day -day performance the HTC is significantly faster than the S8 uh, which is what some other people have been saying you know the S8 started to slow down as what you get typically with Samsung phones uh, so let's just have a look at the multitasking and then round the video off so a little bit of a reload there on the right and again you can see the performance seems to be going to junk here on the uh, Samsung that's why I said we did need 6 gigs of RAM for touch whiz but you can see the HTC absolutely magnificent performance on uh, the multitasking side of things and let's try some games here can assure you as well both of them are up to date in terms of like software etc uh, but you can see you know HTC is just killing it ultimately and let's try the other games asphalt so yeah this is quite a spammy game don't know what happened then and angry gran let's see angry gran oh so I think the HTC reloaded that one and Samsung kept it in memory so very inconsistent here uh, with the Samsung sometimes it keeps it in memory and sometimes it doesn't you can see with five games this seems to really uh, you know make them reload eventually so I might start using this in future uh, you can see they're both reloading now both of the the uh, games now so one more uh, but overall I think HEC is doing a solid victory here just seems to be that much snappier and uh, better in terms of performance you know so props where props is due I was a hater at first but now you know I am uh, a little bit more on HTC's side uh, so what other things do you want to be aware of with the HTC you are getting obviously the squeeze feature which uh, I've, I've started to use a little bit you know around uh, taking some shots but I, I do think it's a little bit of a gimmick at the end of the day because sometimes it doesn't work properly but it's nice that it's there at the end of the day uh, I think as well you have 3D video recording like in terms of the sound uh, so you'll find that in the actual video settings 3D audio which I don't think you get on the S8 you know that's pretty awesome if you're into your video recording uh, and stuff uh, on the other hand you know the S8 does strike back with a more ar arguably futuristic design uh, you know iris scanner as well which is nice to have and uh, it's just overall good uh, you know software experience here but I think uh, it's not as fast as it was when I first got it I do notice some lags creeping in uh, so if you're looking for the performer you know maybe the HTC is a better choice here uh, overall so uh, yeah just a quick little video here we're doing some other comparisons as well with the HTC so uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one